This is Hugo, aka Unforeseeable 2.0, and welcome to another episode of Science Time. Let's say hello to Gusto Master 7936. Hi, everybody! So, Hugo, what are we doing today? Today, we're going to be talking about more air pressure. So, if you saw my 10th episode of Science Time, then you realized that with a little help from air pressure, I got uh, an egg, well, half of an egg, in a bottle using matches in Central Park in New York City. Now that was fun, but today we're going to come back with a return episode using a candle, this water, full blue flag food coloring, this bowl, and a glass. And the slider as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this candle in here and then pour in, in the water. Now, we're going to light up with the match. Kids, if you're trying this with this, make sure you have an adult. Fire here can be dangerous. Remember, we're experienced. We're experienced. That's worth it. Okay, so light it up. Sometimes this would take a while. There we go. Now, now ordinarily, when a candle is being lit into the air, it has tons of oxygen, but when this glass is placed over, what would happen? Can I do it? Thank sure. You. Oh, it's starting now, and look. It's cool. Yeah, see, the water is rising. But how could it be? What's happening, Hugo? We'll see. Can I take it down? Or sure. <laughs> Magic! See? <laughs> See? Just like in the air pressure experiment, <laughs> the match has burned off the oxygen that was inside the bottle, making, making air to push the egg inside it. And also came with a plop. In this, in this demonstration, the only oxygen was in this glass, so the candle didn't have much air, air, air to feed on it. But no air? That means that the candle can't go, and so the greater the force, so the greater the force of the air pressure, is what made it rise. More on gases from Gus. Thanks, you all. Well, there's more gases than your typical air. We also have helium and um, neon, which is um, inert. So let's say there's a flame right here, and I dump neon, or there's neon swarming it. It wouldn't give an effect on anything because they're inert. And then we have flammable gases like hydrogen and oxygen. If I did that with an open flame, well, it would explode. So remember, never put those gases near an open fire. Back to Hugo. Thank you, Gus. Well, I'm Hugo, a.k.a. Unforeseeable 2.0, and thanks for watching Science Time. Check out my other videos, and don't forget to check out Gus the Master's videos. Thanks, See ya. Hugo. Bye.